What is going on gamers? Avatrix here again and today we're going to be going through an expedition at my might range. Um, I want to I wanna show you guys basically the rewards that I get by doing these on a, on a daily basis. I can only use 10 heroes. Well, I say only because uh, obviously you can use more heroes in expedition the higher the might um, that you have. Um, but with just 10, I mean, I have so many other heroes to choose from. Uh, I have 12 9-star heroes, so I definitely have a variety, but I just feel that these 10 right here give me the best chance to beat any one base. Thunder God would be nice, but I just got better options. So on bases like this, those garrisons, after I went through the, the new dungeons all the way through 8, those garrisons look like cakewalks, like they're just... They're just there for for a pretty little light show. That's just how I feel nowadays. Because uh, when you see those dungeons and you see 40 different towers with 777. And then you come back to this where there's only 5 towers with like 1, 2. You're just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so we go. Um, you, go you're gonna, you guys are going to see the rewards escalate. Um, but really, the most important rewards, if you're at this stage in King, will basically be the merits. Because by this point, you probably are rolling your HP. I know I have been rolling my HP for quite a while now. Um, just because I don't want to stay stuck at, uh, I'm, I believe it's what, like a million? And if you roll your HP, you actually get free skill experience. Very little, um, you know, but... Every little bit helps. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been rolling my HP for probably a little over two months now. And, you know, at some point I kind of want to have them unlock the, what would it, I think it would be 10, 10 star hero. We all know it's coming. I mean, there's, there's way too many people stuck at level 180. And you know that when you're stuck in a game and you don't feel like you're advancing... The next thing you do is you lose interest, and then you quit. So I'm sure um, IGG is thinking about that, and they're thinking about their players and making it a way for people to advance, because there's there's actually been people that have been stuck at level 180 for months. So, I mean, yeah. And once it happens, you don't feel like your heroes are gaining anything. You, yeah, you just, you just stop playing altogether. Oh, my... Santa. Santa is a destroyer. Like, don't don't let those cartoons fool you. The IGG had a different mindset when they made Santa. A lot of people have uh, in my guild have said that a better idea would have been the Grinch instead of Santa. And I tend to agree. Like, just imagine the Grinch with a bazooka just blowing up Christmas. I think it would have... It would have fit a little bit, a little better. Not that Santa's bad, but I think it would have fit just a little better. And I, I, I could just see it now. It would have been great. Now, we all know that um, Valentine's Day is coming around the corner. And last Valentine's Day, we got Cupid. Now, I don't think that they can do anything like that again. Just because, really, the only thing symbolic with Valentine is Cupid. To my knowledge, anyways. And I can be completely wrong. But... I think that for this Valentine's Day, I think it's long, and I mean long overdue, for them to release another um, Shard Hero. I think this next Shard Hero should probably be uh, around 10,000 Shards, just to keep the progression going up. And I, I think it should be a similar hero to... Um, not, not necessarily like Pumpkin Duke or Cupid... But just a hero that gives you uh, some sort of buff. Maybe not as good as Pumpkin Duke or Cupid. But just a hero that can kind of bridge the gap for the people that just can't spend the money or, you know, get those lucky rolls. Maybe just a hero to kind of offset. Maybe like half of the skill that Pumpkin Duke does, you know, or just something along those lines. That way... If people can roll a, a pumpkin duke, they don't feel like they just can't get anywhere in the game. Now, I'm sure, you know, if you don't have a pumpkin duke, you can still get far. 
but you always feel like you can't get the best of everything just because you don't have one. Um, and now, speaking about Pumpkin Duke, I actually have an account with a Pumpkin Duke and a Santa, along with some other legendary heroes, which I believe are is Druid, Thunder God, uh, Atlanticore. Um, that I am actually going to be giving away. I will be making a video here um, probably within the next few days um, You know showing the account and how everything's gonna work So if you guys are interested in a pumpkin duke account with Santa and a few other heroes Definitely stay tuned because that's coming um, It's actually the last time I was in it. I actually did a wave F and did it completely fine um no problem and santa even it's i believe it's only like around level 80 but it that proc is just so ridiculous that it didn't even matter so i'm sure with you know if somebody once somebody takes over oh my goodness what has what's happening here Woo. anyways back on topic that thunder guy kind of scared me um, but yeah, I'll be posting that and also I have another account that's going to be a spirit mage account So that's also going to be um, You know account that I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna um, Basically give you guys all of the details on the next video But I definitely do appreciate for the um, the people that have given me these accounts to give away um, I'll, I'll be showing them in the video and all of that But yeah, uh, I believe this is what the ninth this is this is my daily expedition. I just usually it's corner bases because that's what you, most people run, especially at the, around this mite. And I just drop them in one corner, and that's about it. Like I don't even most of the time I don't even pay attention. Um, the only time that I would pay attention is when a thunder got procs right on my heroes. But even then, it's I mean, it could have probably killed one or two of my heroes, but I have two just sitting on the two nine star heroes at that just sitting on the back waiting to be a replacement you know how they feel they feel like those players that are on a team like a football team or a baseball team but they're always on the bench and they're just waiting for that one chance that one injury that'll give them a chance to come in and shine yeah but that's not happening today sorry guys there we go so the the only bad part here is that you have to sometimes you just have to wait for them to go to each corner and then just you know like fly like this like do 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 and then spirit mage is no <laughs> but yeah there we go we basically get 3000 hp 131 merits and all together it probably reaches i believe around 2000 merits and the hp is just even higher, but I mean, I could care less about HP at this point. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's it's really interesting. Uh, I hope IGG does come out with an uh, another shard hero, um, and especially a buffer type, not like an Emor type or, or like an Atlanticor, which is hardly used. Just a hero that a lot of people would want to get their hands on, but not good enough to replace. Like a pumpkin duke or cupid when for the people that have already invested and got one of those heroes you know in nine and nines etc like myself of course but i'm not saying it just for me just in general to help the free-to-play players feel like they have a shot at something um but yeah that's the video guys remember to uh subscribe if you if you do want to get a shot at that pumpkin duke and santa account and that spirit mage account and thank you for watching Bye.